Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, welcome. My name is Kayla. I am a stay-at-home mom. I am a mom to that little girl over there. She's eating her snack. And I am pregnant for the second time with baby boy due this December. In today's video, I really just want to chat with you guys about some of the things that I regret buying the first time around with Riley. There are so many baby products out there on the market and I know that it can be really overwhelming when you're trying to figure out what to buy your little one. So these are just some of the things that I did not find helpful or things that I didn't even buy in the first place just because I didn't feel a need for them and that I ended up not using anyway. So I'm really glad that I didn't spend the money on them in the first place. If you guys like these kind of like baby registry videos if you guys are still struggling to figure out like what you need for your little ones i'm gonna link to a whole bunch of like baby registry videos that i've already done here on my channel i've done like newborn essentials favorites things that i'm using the second time around things that i'm putting on my baby registry now that i'm gonna have two little ones so go check those out and if you do enjoy these videos make sure to give this one a thumbs up subscribe if you're new and now let's hop into it the very first thing that i regret buying is the mamaru and i know that this thing is like on so many like baby products i regret buying videos just because it's expensive. It is so expensive. We spent a fortune on the thing and Riley didn't even like it. Like she used it maybe, I don't know, a handful of times, but Riley never enjoyed being on there. It wasn't like the thing that I could put her in that would keep her quiet and content. So I really don't think that we should have spent the money on it. Instead, I think we should have bought a regular swing. I think she would have been much better off in a regular swing. And that is something that I'm gonna be buying for baby number two. Second thing that's on this list is not something that I bought myself, but it's something that I put on my baby registry. And that is like a baby food maker. We put on there like the baby food bullet or whatever it's called. And honestly, I didn't even open the box until Riley was like a year and a half old. Like I could do not, I know it sounds terrible, but we just never used it. I honestly was very, very busy as a first time mom, just trying to keep my child alive. So I didn't make my own baby food. Now, if you know from the get go that you're gonna be making your own baby food, and that's gonna be something that helps you do that, keeps you motivated to do that, then fine, I would recommend that. You can make baby food with any like food processor that you have at home or any kind of blender. Like I have a Ninja blender and sometimes I could use that like to just like chop up things. So obviously use your own judgment. I think it's probably better to wait to see if you're actually the kind of person that's going to be making baby food on a regular basis. If you are, then great, then you can go and buy it, use a gift card that you got at your shower and go buy that. But otherwise, I think it's just gonna like be another contraption that takes up space and that you're just not gonna end up using. The third thing I regret buying are a ton of middens, like the little baby middens. We never use those with Riley. Most of the little PJs and most of like the little outfits that we bought Riley, like the sleepers, which is pretty much what she spent the majority of her life in, they already had like the little um, middens built into them, like at the sleeves where they turn inside out and they become middens. So I just did not see a need to have a whole bunch of extra little middens in her sock drawer that then got lost. So I just don't think that they're necessary. All right, sorry, she was done with her snacks. So I had to get her off the high chair. The next thing I regret buying are baby hats. I feel like almost all of like the cute little baby outfits came with a hat, um, but we never used any baby hats. We're down here in Miami, Florida right now, and that's where Riley was born, and there was no need for a hat. Even though she was born in December, like it's, it wasn't cold at all. So unless you live somewhere where it's like really cold, where you need to keep them bundled up at all times, I just wouldn't go crazy with the hats. Same with like the really cute baby clothes. I've talked about this a million times in like my newborn boy baby haul. And like when I've shared like the clothes that I bought for baby boy, 99% of the time your baby is going to be in a sleeper. At least that's what I recommend that they live in. The zip up footy pajamas, that is like all that my child ever lived in. Like we hardly ever left the house. And when she was home, I really wanted her to be comfortable. And I also wanted her to be in stuff that was gonna be really easy for me to like zip up and take off, things that were gonna be easy for for me to change her diaper in. So all that she lived in were sleepers. Like she had been gifted like all of these crazy like three and four piece outfits with the tutus, like with tulle, with like all of this crazy fabric and I never put her in that. Or like I would put her in it like once to take a photo because I felt bad because we had it here. But that is not what she spent the day in. So I would highly recommend not going overboard on the cute outfits. Like yes, if you wanna dress them up to go to the doctor's office or you wanna dress them up for like a special occasion or just to shoot photos, then fine. You can have those outfits, but more than like what they're gonna need are sleepers and onesies. That's it. The next thing is something that we didn't buy and thank God we didn't because it would have just been a total waste. We did not buy a lot of baby shoes for Riley. To be honest with you, Riley didn't even start really wearing shoes until she started walking. And Riley didn't start walking until she was like 15 months old. Prior to that, there really wasn't a need for her to be wearing shoes because number one, we really didn't go out often. And if we did, 
she wasn't walking around. She was either in her stroller or I was carrying her. She was in the carrier. So I don't really see a need in like buying a ton of baby shoes, especially that baby shoes can be expensive and they're gonna grow out of them so fast. Even now that Riley is almost two, she has like a handful of pair of shoes and that's it because like I bought her like a pair of booties the other day and booties can be like $26 and they're only gonna last for a few months and that's it. Then her foot's gonna grow. So don't go crazy with the shoes. They just need very basic shoes and especially as a newborn, they really don't need them. The next thing on this list is the halo bassinet and the halo bassinet is something that we did buy for Riley. Since we already have it, we are going to be using it for baby number two just because we have it. We spent the money on it. But if I could go back and do things over again, I don't think that I would have bought it. I definitely don't think I would have bought the fancy version that I have. I think the one that we have like has like all the buttons that has like a little light and it vibrates and I know we paid more for that, but I really don't think it was necessary to spend that much money on a bassinet. Riley hated the halo. She did not sleep in the halo. I would put her down and within like 15 minutes she was crying already. So here I was thinking that it was like one specific contraption that was gonna help her sleep. And she didn't sleep at all for the first six months of her life until I sleep trained her. And if you guys are curious, I have a whole sleep training series here on my channel that I will link down below. So I don't know, I feel like I could have gotten a much cheaper bassinet. I mean, it does have its pros, like it does like kind of swivel and you can kind of get it right on top of the bed so that it's easy to get them out of it. So I mean, it's nice, it's pretty to look at. But if you don't have the money, I don't think that I would recommend you splurging on that. If I could go back and do things over again, I would buy a dresser instead of a changing table. So I do have an old nursery tour video that you guys can go see like what Riley's nursery looked like when I brought her home from the hospital. Since then, it has definitely changed and I have an updated room tour that I will also link down below so you guys can see how things have kind of evolved. But when Riley came home from the hospital, we had a crib and we had a changing table. And mind you, she slept in our room until she was six months old and we transitioned her into her nursery. But for a long time, we had a changing table um, and that's where we had the changing pad, that's where we would change her diaper and stuff. But we did not have a dresser and that was the one thing that I think was really missing from her room. The minute that we got a dresser, when we like redid her room and stuff it made things a million times easier and then we set the changing pad on top of the dresser so I think that if you're kind of in between like having a changing table or a dresser I would say invest in a dresser from the get-go that way you can organize all of their clothes it just makes things a lot more functional in my opinion so that's one thing that I would probably do differently all right something else that I regret buying are just like a million washcloths and baby towels Riley to this day is still using the same towels that she got at her baby shower so as long as you have a washer dryer situation where you can just wash towels I wouldn't go crazy and buy like a ton of cute hooded towels Like you do not need like 14 towels to wash your baby You do not need that you just wash them and by the way those hooded towels can be very expensive Like at bye bye baby and stuff like I think sometimes they're like 20 some dollars If you are gonna go and buy like the really cute animal towels I would highly recommend getting them like at TJ Maxx or Marshalls like one of those stores because they usually have have them a lot cheaper too many bottles is something that we did buy that I regretted having later on because then my entire cabinet was full of bottles but Riley was actually nursed for like the first year of her life I think towards the end of that first year we were supplementing but the reason why we had so many bottles in the first place was because Riley when we first brought her home from the hospital Riley had been in the NICU for three days and so she wasn't nursing initially when we brought her home we were bottle feeding her so for a while there I was pumping and then I was putting my breast milk in the bottles and then that's how we were feeding her but we bought like a ton of bottles and now like going through all of my baby stuff like we had so many bottles that I didn't know what to do with again if you have a way to wash them you don't need that many and then the other note about bottles and buying too many bottles to begin with is the fact that your baby might not like a specific bottle I've talked about this in my registry videos babies are very particular when it comes to like the kind of nipples that they like in their bottles so it may come to a point where you're just like trying different brands to see what they like so don't go crazy buying a ton of bottles from one specific brand because you're gonna end up like not using them something that I regret buying also is like a million stuffed animals and like loveys and like little toys for the baby they are so cute and when you're pregnant and you're excited like you see all these super cute little things and you want to buy them and you're like look it's a stuffed elephant look it's a little stuffed teddy bear and you want to get them for your little one but then you end up with nowhere to put them so unless you have a nursery where 
you're gonna be displaying a ton of stuffed animals or you're gonna give your child, I don't know, like 15,000 little loveys in their crib. I would just kind of be selective about the ones that you do get because like right now, Riley is almost two and I have like shelves and shelves of stuffed animals. Like, like they're over here, like I can see them all stuffed away and like there's just nowhere to put them. So just be selective about them. Something that we didn't buy and that we didn't end up needing at all was a wipe warmer. I know that's something that a lot of people put on their baby registries. It's just basically a warmer where you put all of the baby wipes so that when you change their butts, they are nice and warm. Honestly, I didn't use one with Riley and she didn't care. She still got her butt cleaned and she still survived. So again, it's one of those like luxury items, but my problem with that was like I didn't want her to get used to like only needing to have a nice warm wipe when she was being changed because then if we were out on the street or we were out running errands and I didn't have a warm wipe, like I didn't want her to freak out about it. Like, oh, here's a cold wipey on my butt. Like, I don't like this. So that's why I just kept it simple. She used cold wipes from the start. We used the water wipes when we began with Riley and those worked out perfect. Along the same lines, we didn't, oh wait, I have a phone call. Hello? Hi. Hi. <laughs> you look Google. She looks a little crazy. Her hair is like all over the place. Along those same lines, I did not ever purchase a bottle warmer for Riley. Again, I nursed her so she didn't really have like a bottle much but even when she started taking a bottle i never heated up her milk and maybe that makes me a terrible mother but i don't care give her like cold water and mix it up with formula at one point and then now she's just having cold milk from the fridge and she survived she's fine so it's one of those things again depends on your parenting style and either way is okay if you want to warm up their milk you can obviously you want to see what your babies enjoy maybe your babies are a lot more particular than riley was when she was little and they won't take cold formula or room temperature formula but riley was always okay with it swaddle blankets like the muslin swaddle blankets are another one of those things that i would not recommend getting a ton of i know that that's like one of the things that you see in every photo of a newborn like they're nicely swaddled and there's like all of these printed swaddles and they're so cute and there's a million etsy shops where you can get like personalized swaddles don't go crazy with them because first of all, swaddle blankets are very hard to use and I do not recommend swaddle blankets. Like I recommend maybe getting a couple, but I actually prefer the swaddle sacks, the ones that have the Velcro, the ones that like look like your baby is just being put inside of a burrito and then you just Velcro it. The easier, the better. So that was always my solution with Riley. I can probably count the amount of times that I actually swaddled her with the different triangles and the different folds and like using the actual swaddle blanket like I can probably count those times like on one hand because it's not practical it's not easy when you're trying to not lose your mind as a new mom just make it easier for yourself and just use a swaddle sack another thing I regret buying was like one of those cloth baby carriers those things it's just like one piece of fabric and then you're supposed to figure out like how to like have your baby in there. I think that a lot of those like cloth baby carriers, like it's great in the sense that like your baby's like nice and soft and close to you and like the material is nice and cozy, but to actually put it on, it is a pain in the butt. You have to like always look at the instruction manual. At least I did. Again, maybe you are a lot more competent than I am or that I was, but I hated trying to figure it out every time. I just was not practical. In the time that it took me to like actually do the folds and tie it and get my baby in there, like I could have already done the thing that I wanted to do. So I just didn't find it to be practical. So instead I recommend just like an easy to use baby carrier. I have the Lily Baby Baby Carrier. I will link it down below. It's just way easier. And then the last thing that I regret buying, but I didn't actually buy it. It was a hand-me-down from someone was the Diaper Genie. Now that's not to say that I enjoy smelling crap. That's not to say that I enjoy the smell of poop. But honestly, it's one of those items where I just don't think you necessarily have to spend a fortune on a diaper pail. If you are gonna get a diaper pail, I recommend you get one that is is cheaper that you get one that you can use like any trash bag I think with the diaper genie you have to use the specific little um, trash bags that come with it and I've heard that they're expensive and on top of that when you bring your babies home from the hospital when they are newborns their poop does not smell you're honestly like wow like I was expecting the poop to smell bad and it just smells like nothing Later down the road, when they start eating solids, that's when you're like, oh damn, like, this is bad. But the first couple months of their life, it's not gonna smell. So if you're trying to save money, if you're trying to figure out what you actually need right away, 
a diaper pail in my opinion is not one of those things sure it could be convenient to have a diaper pail in the nursery like where you spend the most time changing them because then I guess you don't have to walk to your regular garbage but if you can walk to your regular garbage and you can save yourself some money I would just do that all right you guys so that's gonna be it for today's video I hope that you enjoyed it I hope that you found it helpful if you guys have any other tips recommendations things that you bought that you hated leave them down below let's help each other out but again if you did enjoy this video make sure that you give it a thumbs up subscribe if you're new and i will see you guys in the next one bye guys